Okay, so we've got a, a system that looks like this. We've got two open reservoirs this time, okay? We've got a pump and a valve in the system. We've got a length, a diameter, and we've got points one and two. And the height of point two is, is 20 meters above point one, okay? We've been given, you'll be pleased to know that we don't have to determine what the uh, friction factor is because it's been given to us. And so we can go through and work out what's going on with the system, okay? Now, notice we've been given that there is the uh, pipe characteristic. And notice that it's been given in terms of head, okay? Now, head, we know, is a, is a, is a, a distance, okay? And to convert that to a pressure, we need to multiply that by rho times g, okay? We're dealing with a system with uh, water, okay? And so we can write down, for the system, we can write down the pipe characteristic straight off, or the pump characteristic straight off, okay? That's going to be rho times g times by 1,000 minus 10 to the 5 times by v dot, v dot squared, okay? So that's the pipe pump characteristic. That's the pressure that rise that the pump can create. Now, to determine the pipe characteristic, we need to look at Bernoulli's equation. Bernoulli, okay, so we've got P1 plus one half rho C1 squared plus rho GZ1 plus delta PP equals P2 plus one half rho C2 squared plus rho GZ2 plus delta PL. So we go through the process. These two reservoirs are open to a uh, atmosphere, so P1 equals P2, so they go. Okay, we're dealing with reservoirs, so that means C1 and C2 are also zero. Zero, zero, okay. And we have Z1 and Z2. Well, if we assume this height here is zero, then this is going to be 20 metres, okay, which is H. And so we can get rid of that, and that value there becomes H. And so we have an equation that delta PP equals rho g h plus delta p l. Now what's delta p l? Well, we know that delta p l, we know that's going to be the friction force times by the dynamic pressure. Okay, but we've also got a valve in here and we've been given the, d the pressure drop due to the valve, which is kV times one half rho c squared. So we've got kV times by one half rho c squared. And so we can pop that in for p l we end up with delta PP equals rho G H plus F L upon D plus K V times by one half rho C squared. <coughs> now we also calculated earlier, okay, if you remember that C squared was 16 times by v dot squared divided by pi squared d to the 4. Okay, so we can pop that in here. And we have rho g h plus... Yep, one second, let me just finish writing it. 1 half rho 16 v dot squared over pi squared d to the 4. So we know that this is our this is our pipe characteristic, pipe characteristic, okay, and this value here, we know that's our C1, and then this value here, okay, is our C2, including this lot here. So the V dot is on its own. So let's let me just include those things there. And so what we can do is we can take the pump characteristic and set that equal to all of this lot. So let's go. Rho G times by 1,000 minus 10 to the 5 V dot squared equals Rho G H, okay, plus F L upon D plus K V 
multiplied by 16 over pi d to the power of 4, and that's times by v dot squared. row. I forgot the row. Now we can... You're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. That's an 8, not a 16. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide both sides by row G. So that gets rid of that one, gets rid of that one, and that gets rid of that row but it divides all of that lot by G, okay? So we end up with 1,000 minus 10 to the 5 V dot squared equals H plus, we have FL upon D plus KV times by 8 over pi squared D to the 4 times by G times by V dot squared. So this we know is our C1, this we call our C2, okay, and so we can rearrange this equation to find out what those things are and find out what V dot is. So if I go over here, we've got 10 to the 3, if I move H to this side, okay, that's the term without V dot, so that's going to be uh, minus 20 equals... We've been given f, so that's 0 0.025. We've got a length of uh, 100 metres, so that's 100, divided by the diameter, which we know is 0 0.1, times by 8, divided by pi squared, so that's going to be uh, um, pi squared, 0 0.1 to the power of 4, times by 9.81, times by v dot squared, and then that's, we need to add this to that side, plus 10 to the 5 v dot squared. So what I've done here, if I just... Sorry? No, it should be d to the 4, okay? Because we've already got a d... That's d to the... F that's d to the 4 there, Okay. So we yeah. pop that in there, and that should be, that's why that d to the 4 is there, d to the 4, okay? There's the other d, if you think it's d to the 5, is that divided by that, so, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we've got a value over this side, okay, we know that 10 to the 3 minus 20, okay, well that's 1,000 minus 20, so that's 980, equals, all of this lot, we know that that lot equals 2894871 minus 10 to the 5 v dot squared. Ben, yes. Uh, you're right, I have. In here, there should be a plus KV, which is 10. <coughs> okay, so by rearranging that equation... That value's right, okay, I just forgot it when I was writing it down, okay. Rearranging the equation, we get this thing here, and so we know that v dot squared is going to be the square root of all of this lot, 980, divided by, we'll turn to the 5 plus that, that's going to be... one two eight nine forty eight point seven which equals 0 0.087 metres cubed per second.
Okay, so we were given we were given the pump characteristic in terms of head. Okay, so that was that was just there. Okay, I'll move it down a second. Okay. We then we then look at Bernoulli's equation for the whole system. Okay. And by looking at the system, we can discount various elements of Bernoulli's equation, okay? those being the static pressures and the dynamic pressures at point A and B. If we take Z1 to be 0, then Z2 is going to be H. Okay? Now, delta PL for this system is going to be the friction in the pipe and the minor loss through the valve. Okay? We know KV, that's 10. And so we can determine an equation for the delta PP, okay, the pressure rise from the pump, okay, to get overcome the pipe losses or the pressure rise due to the pressure rise required by the pipe. Okay, so that's going to be the pressure rise due to uh, the height difference. Okay, and then by equating that with the pump characteristic, so we're equating the pipe characteristic with the pump characteristic. We can solve the equation to solve for V dots, which is our flow rate, okay, and which will give us the operating point. And so that's what we've done. We've uh, stuck in the pump characteristic, divided by rho g to get it back into head, okay. And that obviously we need, then need to divide the pressure loss and the uh, and the hydrostatic pressure also by rho v, okay, rho g. And we end up with an equation where we've got a value for C1 and a value for C2. And we solve those values and we end up finding a value for V dot squared. Okay?